what do we call it? Is this movie deployable? Let's start with deployment. Is this pl deployment worthy film? Um, Penn Davenport, start us off. Is this movie deployable? I don't think so. Um, Cause of the, it's like a quiet tone. Mm -hmm. And it, it kind of, you know, it's like it's something you have to sit there and watch. to Because if you get up and miss a scene, you're probably not going to real understand the end. Yeah. But it's uh, not too many times we just sit there. But it's like I said, very slow, very uh, quiet. And usually you have to grab people's attention on deployment when they're walking past a TV. So I, I don't think so. But, you know, well, people yeah. who like Stephen King will uh, sit down and watch the movie. Cool. Uh, Joe, is this movie deployment worthy? Oddly enough, I saw this on the ship, and I think it was the only <laughs> time I've ever seen this. It was probably with Andy. Probably. <laughs> and uh, uh, um, I don't think it. I don't think it. I don't think it brings a lot to the uh, deployment table. I think if you watch this on deployment, it means because you have a weird friend that has a bunch of DVDs. <laughs> And uh, you, you just borrowed it because you wanted to, you know, see a Johnny Depp movie. So I'm going to go with uh, not deployable. And yeah. once you see it once, it's over with. Yeah. You know, the shock and awe is gone. So not deployable. Sounds Bring good. Bring on Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. You go in and out of them all day. <laughs> I like that, too. Uh, okay, Andy, what do you think? Deployable? I think it is deployable because uh, I watched it on a deployment. <laughs> I remembered almost nothing about it. Yeah. Um, and it turns out I remembered everything about it because there's nothing to remember. Um, <laughs> it's a movie you watch when you have a limited number of options. And, uh, you know, if you, you step away, you're not missing anything. Movie. It's a slow burn. Um, yeah, I think it's, you know, when you're a captive audience with not a lot, it, it, I wouldn't say it's worth a watch, but I mean, you could watch it. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. Thank you, Andy. Uh, Herschel, what do you think? Deployable? Not deployable? So I'm going to go with no because of similar to what pen or penis or whatever his name is uh brought up it's quiet there's a lot of interior monologue and i mean you've been underway on a ship there's all sorts of background noise you can't hear what's going on sure. um so for a first watch I i'm gonna go no but i am gonna break a little bit um and say that it is good to watch again and here's why because you already know the big reveal so you can go back and pick up on little things that, that pointed you in that direction the whole time. You just didn't necessarily pick up on. Yeah. Um, but uh, but I would say no on the deployment piece. Just because you wouldn't be, you'd, you'd miss all of it, you know? Yeah, I agree. Adam? It is not a deployment movie. I just think it ain't it. It's... I don't think it's a good movie, period. <laughs> and so for that reason alone, I wouldn't want to watch it on deployment. Okay. Uh, and not going to blow any minds here. I don't think it's a deployable movie either. I do think it's rewatchable, like at least one time for what Herschel was saying. Like I liked going back and going, oh, that was a hint. Oh, that was a yeah. hint. Oh, that was a hint. And like breaking down all of like, because there's a lot of symbolism and metaphors and wordplay and imagery things that are happening in this movie that is fun to analyze but it's not necessarily fun to watch <laughs> i i will say though it even only in 90 minutes you do slowly see him losing his mind yeah you know what i mean and so they they managed to do that in 90 minutes i mean it, you watch The Shining and he goes from being halfway normal to psychotic in five seconds, you know, so I think at least in 90 minutes they were able to do that. Like, you, you get a genuine look of this guy's going out of his friggin' gourd.
So. Yeah, it was, uh, what I was saying, it was, uh, I'd seen it before and I couldn't really remember what had been happening through the movie. So then as I saw a couple of things, I just went, oh, oh, okay. Was John Shooter real? Yeah. But I said there was, you know, because I've seen a couple of movies where they, oh yeah, I saw him. He was by himself. You know, I've seen a couple of movies use that. Sure. Oh, you know, but I was thinking, I said, oh, okay, this is like a, okay. It started coming back to me and clicking. So I was like, okay, I did get to see it again. I did realize it, which, you know, I did like the movie. So, yeah. like I said, it's 90 minutes and then, you know, didn't feel 90 minutes. Mm-mm. Maybe I like watching people lose their mind over time. I don't know. Because <laughs> Andy's been dosing them with shit. <laughs> Get down on my level, you know? <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys. So what? That was just one one deployable? I figured yeah. that was going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, let's see. Um well, stop or start at the top again. Um, Chris, if you have anything else you want to say, um, and if you want to give us your Dixie Cup rating, please and thank you. All right. Um, yeah, I like this. Uh, I like this pick. I, I can see you're trying to break up the uh, the horror genre because that's my pick as well. Yeah. Coming up. So uh, um, when you picked it, I was like, I said, I don't remember that being a horror movie. I don't know how it's PG-13 with the... Uh, screwdriver and the hatchet murder i thought those was off camera uh, most of it's just off camera or angled yeah. just so too quick yeah. that shot was too quick yeah um and they don't really swear a lot either so not that you can hear it no so i enjoyed watching <laughs> it and like i showed you guys i had the dvd so i had bought it at some point and uh this was probably back at a time when i liked johnny depp <laughs> uh, uh, I was watching a few of his movies uh, when he started wearing the. I think when he went from maybe five bracelets to fifteen is where I said, "Okay, all right, I, I'm not doing this anymore." <laughs> um, this okay. whole bohemian bullshit. Uh, but I like this movie, and it is something like you have to pay attention and listen to the inner dialogue, and you start figuring it out. Like, okay, I remember it, so I, I want to give it six Dixie cups. Cool. Six it is. Thank you, Penn Davenport. Joe, what you got for us? This is just not a very good movie. (laughs) (laughs) I I don't know. I I don't I don't really like it that much. Um, I like John Tatura quite a bit. Yeah, Uh, I thought I thought I, I, I thought he was pretty cool. Um, but um, I was going to really shit all over it, but then Herschel made a really good point that if you watch it again, you get to see the little things that you may have missed and listening to some of the conversation. There is some stuff that I missed. There's also some stuff that I picked up on, like the cigarettes and you know, a, a few other things in there. Um, so um, in order not to like, uh, yeah, I, I, I'll tell you what, I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it a five. Yeah. I'm gonna give it a five. I mean, it's not it's not great. I'm not really gonna I'm not gonna tell a bunch of people about it. <laughs> um, 